So now that we know how to write the rule for the arithmetic sequence when given a set of numbers, how about if we are given the two positions of the sequences of the numbers? Can we still find a rule for that? So I realized that this one is going to be quite spicy. So let me do this one for you to give you an idea how to do numbers 4 and 5. So here's how this works. We know on the first position it's negative 2, so it starts with negative 2. And on the ninth position on that sequence, it's going to be negative 1 over 6. So it is getting not as small as sequence in the sequential order as it increases. The number is going trying to go closer and closer to 0 and maybe past that. Okay, so let's see. Here's the general rule. It is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Now, we know what the first sequential number is, so we don't have to worry about that. However, the second one, so we go a to the ninth, and that is equal to, we know what the a to the first is. It is negative 2, so we put that in there, plus the n. Now, we're looking for a ninth position. We're trying to find the difference. So the n, we're going to put 9 there, minus the 1, and the difference is what we do not know. Now, what is a to the ninth? Well, it's given to you as negative one-sixth. So let's put that in there. Minus a two. And let's evaluate what's inside the parentheses. Nine minus one is eight. So we get eight D. Now, to solve for D, the common difference, we're going to add the two to both sides of the equation. So what you end up with, with is, uh, well, negative one over six plus two. That's like saying 12 over six. So 12 over 6 minus 1 over 6 is 11 over 6, and that equals 8D. And to finally solve for D, we take the reciprocal of the 8 and multiply both sides of the equation. In this case, the 8 cancels out, reduces, so the D, the difference, is going to be, well, there's not to simplify, so 11 over 48. Wow, that's kind of horrendous, huh? The difference between each numbers in this sequence, we're saying, is increasing by 11 over 48. So how do you come up with the rule? Well, once again, the rule is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the difference. We know the difference. So now we go a sub n is equal to a sub 1 is negative 2 plus the n minus 1 times the difference now, which we know is 11 over 48. Do the distributive property, we get negative 2 plus 11 over 48n minus 11 over 48. And so, when we come at the like terms, negative 2 and negative 11 over 48, well, isn't negative 2, isn't that kind of like saying, to find the common denominator, isn't that like saying negative 96 over 48. And so negative 96 over 48 combined with a negative 11 over 48, wouldn't that give me, what is that, negative 107 over 48 plus the nth term, 11 over 48n. And that's going to be my general rule. That is quite nasty, isn't it? So let's test it out. Since we know the first sequence is supposed to be negative 2, so let's put 1 in there. How do we verify? We'll put a 1 in there. That means that's the first position, so we put an n1 in there as well. So, isn't that like saying 108, uh, 107, 48? Isn't that like saying negative 107 over 48 plus 11 over 48? Wouldn't that give us negative 96 over 48? And doesn't that become negative 2? And if you put a 9 in there to verify the 1 over 6, it will. You should try that. See if you could do numbers 4 and 5. All right, number 4 now. The general rule was a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the n minus 1 times the d. So we know the fifth position, so let's put that in there. a sub fifth is equal to, we don't know what the first sequence number is, so it's a sub 1 plus. Now n, we're looking for the fifth in the sequence. So we put 5 in there, minus the 1, and we don't know what the difference is between each of the numbers in the sequence, so d. So we have two unknowns. 
And when we have two unknowns, we have to use what we did in back in Algebra 1, systems of linear equation, when you have two x and y unknowns of a given set of equations. So, a to the fifth, we know it's 10, a sub 1, plus 5 minus 1 is 4 times d. And we're going to hold on to this. Now the second one, oops, the second one is a to the 12, and that equals a sub 1 plus, and 12 position, not fifth this time, is a 12 position, minus the 1, times the difference we don't know. And a sub 12 we know is given as 24, that's the value in the sequence. a sub 1 plus 12 minus 1 is 11 d. So that's the second set of equation. Now like we did in systems of linear equation, we have to find the difference of the two. So here we go, 24 is equal to a sub 1 plus 11 d. Take the second one, 10 is equal to a sub 1 plus 4 d. And there's a fancy word that I came up with. Let's oppositize the second equation so we can find the difference. So take the entire thing, multiply by negative 1, so it becomes minus 10 minus a, of a to the first, a to the what I mean, minus the 4d. So when we combine, well, 24 minus 10 is 14. a sub 1 minus a sub 1, they cancel out. 11d minus 4d is 7d. To find the difference, to solve for d, we divide the 7, and we realize that d is now, the common difference is 2. That means, from here, to go there, there has, you have to constantly add 2 to it. And you can verify that on your own if you like. Now, we still need a general rule. And the general rule is right there. So here's what we do know. We know the difference, we still don't know what the first sequence number is. So we could substitute this number to any one of these. Let's make it easy and substitute to the, the smaller looking one. So we go 10, let me raise this up. All right. So 10 is equal to a sub 1 plus 4 times d, but now we know what d is, it's 2. So 10 is equal to a sub 1 plus 8. Subtract the 8 to both sides of the equation to solve for the initial number. So a sub 1 is equal to 2. So, aha! We started this sequence with the 2. And we kept adding 2 to it. So now we could write the rule. The rule is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus, oops, minus the 1 times the difference. So a sub 1 is 2. We started with 2 plus the n minus 1, and the difference between each sequence number is 2. We do our distributive property. A, so the general rule is, well, 2n minus 2. Oh, those 2 is going to cancel out that 2. So it's simply n. So that's the rule. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Woo. 2n, I mean. There we go. Now that makes better sense. All right? The second in the sequence is negative 28. The 20th of the sequence is 52. So we have to find the difference between each of the sequences. So obviously it's increasing. So here we go. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus the 1 times the difference, which we do not know. So a sub 2, they're telling us, is going to be a sub 1 plus, well, the second position, 2 minus the 1, d. And a sub 2 is given as negative 28. And that equals a sub 1 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 d, or simply d. So here's the unknown, but here's what we got. Now the second one, a sub 20th is same general form, a sub 1 plus the 20th position minus the 1 times the difference we don't know. And a sub 20 is given as 52 is equal to a sub 1 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 d. So here's our second equation. Now let's bring this guy over down here. Negative 28 is equal to a sub 1 plus d. And let's oppositize the entire thing. That means, too bad, this minus now become plus, this a sub 1 is going to become minus, this d is going to become minus. So when we combine with this equation, 
52 plus 28 is going to be 80. And that equals a sub 1 minus negative a sub 1 cancels out. 19d minus 1d is 18d. And to solve for the difference, the common difference, we divide the coefficient 18. So d is equal to 80 over 18. And the common factor between that is going to be 2, I guess. So 40 over 9. <laughs> it's not a pretty number. So we got the difference. Now we start to find the initial number of the sequence. To find that, let's take that difference and substitute it in to one of the easier looking equations. <laughs> so let's do that over here. So we have negative 28 is equal to a sub 1 plus the difference we just found. See? And that's 40 over 9. And now we're going to subtract both sides of the equation by 40 over 9 to solve for the initial number. So that's a whole number. So 28 times 9, whew, that's going to be a huge number. What is that? Let me use my calculator here. Uh, let's see. 28 times 9 is 252. 252 over 9. And 252 over 9 plus 40 over 9 becomes 292 over 9 is equal to a sub 1. So our initial number was negative 292 over 9. So we got the difference, we got the initial number, we could write the general rule now. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1d. So a sub 1 is negative 292 over 9 plus n minus 1 times the difference 40 over 9. Good, we're still good. And so, that becomes negative 292 over 9 plus 40 over 9 and minus 40 over 9. And so let me scoot this up a little bit. Jeez, running out of space here. So the general rule is a sub n is equal to 292 over 9 minus 40 over 9, which becomes... 332 over 9 plus 40 over 9. And there's our general rule.